Welcome to Third Eye Champagne. I'm Kirsten Langston, author and intuitive. Today is June 24th. This is the day I'm recording this. This is, of course, the day that the Roe v. Wade decision was passed down. So if you are watching this, you are a member, you are a patron at the High Priestess tier. If you're not any of those things, and this happens to be a preview up somewhere online, then you're going to want to go and watch this at thirdeyechampagne.com. You're going to want to go sign up for it. So this is a special I am doing. I'm about to go on vacation. And um, we knew this decision was coming down. We knew this was going to happen. We had the, the leaked opinion, you know, came out a while ago. It's, it's a pretty terrifying day. So I decided what I want to do. There is a Roe v. Wade special that I did. Oh, I don't know, maybe two or three weeks ago that is up at the, the collective, thirdeyechampagne.com. So if you just go to the search bar, you type in Roe, all the stuff that has to do with Roe v. Wade will pop right up for you. So you can watch all those videos. Um, I'm not going to be looking at that. I mean, that, that is going to the States. I've already said it. I mean, that's, that's in that video, but you know, there's more in that video, but what we didn't really look at is how this is going to affect the rights of people going forward. So I do want to look at women's rights in the U S I want to look at gay rights and I want to look at uh, people of color rights and see if, if they're going to be pulling back anything else there are further restrictions coming for right for human rights. This is what they're saying in the US, okay? In the US, there are further restrictions coming for human rights. That's what they're saying. So are they gonna make this a national law? We'll start there. They're gonna try. Pence is already uh, a federal law. He's already uh, floated it. What I'm saying here is a war between two energies. It's a war between two energies. And it is this, this Christian culty fundamentalist energy that's trying to take over the United States. And then just like, you know, regular people. It's, yeah, and then there's regular Joes. Like there's just good, you know, solid chill energy. Like the, the, the I don't hate women energy, basically. They're at war, they are fighting. They are going to be able, listen, they're going to be able to parlay the Supreme Court into a lot of shit. A lot. I don't see them removing any more rights from women. But they're going to parlay this into a lot in general where you're going to get a pretty big legal conservative slant for quite some time, it does swing back to the other direction. I don't think women are in trouble. I mean, this is, this might be as bad as it gets as, as far as what I'm seeing right now. So when I'm looking at what's going to happen with women, I'm looking at, you know, are they going to be, I mean, they're already really, you know, discriminated against in the workplace and this, that, and the other. Um, I, I don't see any movement on, such things as pregnancy rights or you know paid pregnancy leave so there's no movement toward good stuff but i don't see any push towards more really restrictive stuff the abortion stuff they're going to go hard on and they're going to do their best to restrict it everywhere in all ways are they going to come for contraception I think, I think some people will try. I don't know that they will succeed. We're gonna take a peek right now. 
let me see, does this kick off in the US? Are women restricted in any other way? Because I'm kind of looking at, you know, old school shit. Can't get a credit card. Can't do go to a doctor without your husband's permission kind of shit. And I don't see that happening. This is more, no, dude, the way they do it is weird. The way they do it is weird. So it's not outright like that, but there are things coming down the pike that do laws, weird laws, where it's like, yeah, you know, we don't have to pay you paid pregnancy leave, or we're not going to cover, you know, X, Y, Z, you know, things like that. Yeah, you know, this is a, the way this works, they're like, you better plan. You better plan because they have a plan. The way this works, again, is it's peripheral. This is not good. All the women in the United States, by the way, are being represented by the Queen of Wands, the hoe of the tarot. Hello. Uh, this is who we are as a collective, in case you were wondering, which is interesting because this is also who Rona is. But here we are, and then we're here with the tower. So we're definitely in a precarious position. The government is going to continue to try to impose things upon women we need to have a plan, but the way they do it again, it's very slow, it's multi-pronged. This is like a big win. They're gonna let things die down and then they're gonna come back for more. They don't want people in a fervor when they come for more rights. And what I'm looking at, like I said, it's weird stuff. It's like, you know, if there's not already a law that, you know, your, your employer can refuse you birth control, there will be one. Um, again, not protecting women in the workspace. Um, things that, you know, laws that protected women or proposed laws that would protect women, those are going to be gotten rid of. There's going to be laws, but it's all, it's all sort of on the side. So it's not like anybody comes in and says, all right, we're taking their bank accounts. They can't do this. They can't do that. Uh, quite frankly, women are a huge market, so they don't want to restrict the way women spend their money. <laughs> I think that if they could, they probably would, but, oh yeah, they're going to try to make it legal to discriminate. And that's coming through very clear. I mean, discriminate against anybody. So you're black, you're Latino, you're a woman, you're gay. They will make it totally, totally cool, legal to discriminate, to make life harder for all of us. That's real. Oh yeah. They are coming for you too, honey. Jesus Christ. Power here when it comes to people of color. This is gnarly. So show me. Show me the trajectory of all of this. The worst thing you can do right now is nothing. So make sure you are doing something. Um, and one of the best things you can do is just get more Democrats elected. So whether it is giving money in swing states or, oh God, uh, I'm sorry, I just thought of Dianne Feinstein. I'm like, I'm not, I'm never voting for her again. Uh, um, but donating money in swing states or again, widen it, widen your scope. You've got to think not just Roe v. Wade and abortion rights. You have to widen it. That's coming through very, very clearly. You need more liberal people in office at every level. That's where you focus your attention. Every single level, wherever, if you can give money, if you can canvas, if you can register people to vote, if you can convince people to vote, if you can work for a campaign, anything you can do for a more liberal majority at the state and federal level, that's where you want to put your attention. Okay. So please do that. Don't despair. Um, turn whatever your reaction is into an action that is positive. Sit in that beautiful feminine energy. We're going to be okay. It's going to be a little bit rough, but we're going to get through it. And we're going to come out of this the other side. Remember, there's always going to be a backlash. There's always going to be a boomerang effect. This situation right now with the rights of everyone, it doesn't stick. And it doesn't stick for very long either. So keep that in mind. And don't look at it. This is coming from the guys. They're saying don't look at it from a combative perspective.
that you're not fighting against anything. And you're not fighting for anything. They're like, leave the fighting out of it. You're not, there's no fight. You're not fighting. It's, it's more of an energy that you're trying to cultivate. So they're saying, think of it like a garden. Think of it like you're growing something. So you're not fighting for or against anything because that Im implies, they're saying war, chaos, and resistance. So what you want to do is, is cultivate something. You want to cultivate something. You want to grow something. That's the way you want to think about it. Cultivate it. Grow it. Don't fight for or against. And they're actually saying what you want to do is just ignore. So energetically, this is how you're really going to be able to manifest. You can apply this to rights that we're talking about, or you can apply it to your own life. But what they're saying is this. Energetically, whatever you don't want, you don't pay attention to. Do not pay attention to it. It does not exist. You only focus on what you do want. And the way you focus on it is, is a nurturing, fostering way. They're actually, ironically enough, they're saying think of um, a mother gestating um, a child that, you know, you're not fighting. You're not fighting to get, make the child live. Like, you're not fighting to grow a baby. They're like, you know, you're just, you know, letting shit take its course. You're letting things happen. So you're growing something. Again, they go back to this, like you're growing a garden, you're going to cultivate it, you're going to feed things, you're going to give it, you know, happy mulch and, and water and sunlight. So everything that you do, you don't focus on, see, this is why I, this is a lot of the reason that I don't like reading on some of this harsh shit, because I'm like, I'm putting my focus on it. I, I don't want to perpetuate it. But that's what they're saying is if, if it if not, you don't like it, don't struggle against it. Don't fight it. Don't resist it. Just push it off to the side. And push is even the wrong word, but they're saying just, just leave it over there. It doesn't exist. And focus on what you do want. Focus on how you want things to be and grow it. Let it grow and grow it. Give it whatever it needs to grow. So there you go. I love you. I adore you. I will see you live back in August. Thank you so much for your support. And I really think you're going to love this content coming up in July. Might even be better than having a live stream. <laughs>